this is the video game votary show your support and hit subscribe right now what's up guys it's your boy the video game votary here with another episode of the all new vip voting initial plays where we take a look at new games added to the library and we're going to give you guys an idea and a preview of the game let me try it before you buy it so this is episode number two of the series playing every single nintendo wii u game released in north america so these are all coming from the north american retail set so this is game number two and today's game Hope you can see that right there. Adventure Time. Explore the dungeon because I don't know. So to check this game out, sit back, subscribe, catch the vibe, and find out next. All right, guys, so welcome back to the episode. So as I said in the intro, today's game we're going to be playing is Adventure Time. Explore the dungeon because I don't know. So let's read the back of the game case to get an idea of what this game is all about. It says fun and adventure wait underground. 100 massive levels to explore. Play solo or four player, cooperative multiplayer. So as listed, as I said before in the previous episode, on the back of these Wii U cases, they let you know what controllers you can actually use. So, this one has the Wii U gamepad, the Pro Controller, the Wii Remote, as well as the Nunchuck. So, either one that you choose. Alright, so, I'm thinking this is somewhat of a mini game, so let's dive into it, check it out. Alright, so, we had the menu, got play game, options, and extra. Press B to select, which is strange, normally it's A. New game, then a new game, yes. Please look at the game pad. So, you look at the game pad once you put in the player's name. And I would strongly suggest for games for the Wii U, and if they're asking you to use the Wii U game pad, hopefully you guys have a stylus. If not, you should definitely order one. I need to get another one. So you can select your character. I'm not familiar with the show Adventure Time at all. So, but I do kind of, kind of familiar with this guy. I have no clue what his name is. But we're gonna pick him. So we got our first cutscene. It's got very retro feel to it. Okay, that's the thing, Finn. Guess like some kind of princess. And somehow that bird is able to hold that princess in the air. The Candy Kingdom has many enemies, and when I capture my enemies, I lock them up forever in prison cells within the catacombs beyond this hole. I've been locking up my enemies there for years, but now they're all escaping. Venture down into the dungeon to figure out why. Because I don't know. Okay, so I guess that gives you the background of the title. She don't know why her enemy's locked up down there. She's sending Finn and Finn's sidekick down there to find out. Apparently, this guy wants to help too. Old screen. Let's see what this game is all about. These prisoners are a serious problem. Not only are they taking our stuff, but several citizens of the Candy Kingdom have disappeared recently in a spec foul play. On top of that, most of the kingdom's treasure is missing too. They must be stopped. We need to make a calculated strike on the secret royal dungeon. The escaped prisoners can't know we're coming. Right now, 
They're scattered, alone, afraid. We can't allow them to. Makes sense. That said, we should take, take some time, time and go over gameplay. Game please. please follow me. Okay. So the princess is gonna walk us through the gameplay basics. This is a special area of the dungeon used to train my banana guard. As I explained before, these Free prisoners resource. are escaping somehow and crawling around where they don't. You won't accomplish much just standing around. So get moving. All right. So you use the left control stick to move around. So you attack with Y. You travel and charge them. As you fight things, notice enough. your imagination meter increases. I'm not sure why. When it's full, oh, you can I'm guessing you'll find a lot of extra weapons in the dungeon. Let's call them subway. Here's some bamboo poles to practice with. These aren't very effective, unfortunately, but it's the best. Oh, jeez. See? More prisoners. May as well try out the Alright, so you pick up weapons with B. Then use the attack. So, this appears to be like a. One of those top view. Looks like a beat em up. Slash, maybe like a strategy game. But it appears to be more of a beat em up so far. Controls is nice. Um, nothing too uh, pretty basic. Nice controls. I guess you gotta try to pick up this bamboo stick. Why is he not picking it up? Pulling out the sword, but he's not picking up this bamboo stick for some reason. I think I just use a special attack. And apparently, I guess you build that bar like she was saying, do that by pressing A. Trying to figure out how to pick this up. It's not working. I wonder if you could switch it. Let's go on the menu uh, collection. Sub weapons says one of 30. I can switch them now. I don't see anything there. I'm not sure why the character is not picking up these bamboo sticks like he's supposed to. It's moving it, but it is not picking it up. Oh, okay. Maybe I had one already. And yeah, okay. So you use X to use the. You look up in that small menu up in the top left corner. The sub uh, weapon is on the right hand side. You use that by pressing X. And you can use Finn's regular weapon, his primary weapon, by using Y. So you just use X and use the secondary. Got it. I wonder why he wasn't picking it up. So if you hit them a few times, you eliminate them. Hit a direction while blocking and you can dodge. Okay. You can block to decrease the damage received from melee attacks. You can't block projectiles. If you time your block perfectly, it will deflect all damage and destroy even projectiles. Okay, so timing is everything. Exactly, 
but it tends to Let's find out what this block button Let's is. See if you can time your block perfectly and destroy the projectile. Uh, what's the block button? Okay, the block button I think is right trigger. All right, so if you hold right trigger and hit a direction, that's how you can dodge the attack. Let's see if I can. All right, so I guess it's gotta be perfectly timed. Boom. All right, didn't do that right. Let's try it again. That didn't work. Oh, so that, I'm not sure. She didn't really explain the timing of it. See this clip. Uh, nope. Yep. Or maybe that's not the block button. Let me. That seems to be the only button. I don't know. I'm staying. I'm trying to hold it. Okay. Quite likely it's going to come handy. Okay, so you got equip tokens. You add thumps, rowdiness, focus, and imagination. Then you as like I said, you got your sub weapon, bamboo. You read about innate abilities and a lot, a lot more on the stat screen. Gotcha. Okay, so basically, this is like a top-down action adventure beat them up and there's a little bit of strategy involved where you can uh build your character up and get some more like xp experience points and things of that nature um controls feel good i mean obviously right there the blocking and deflecting the projectiles is a little difficult i think it takes some time to figure out no one too far make sure you talk to me when you're not to complicate for your first quest i want you to return with 10 treasures Okay. You press B to talk to different characters so you can actually walk up to them and swap characters. So you see Jake right there. Then you can see their ratings. Um Jake only has two token slots. Uh yeah, let's just switch. We're gonna use Jake. Imagination is a wonderful ability. Join me in imagining a hundred seventy five treasures. She did say bring back ten, right? So you can switch to cinnamon bun. Guys to show foes. Okay. Um This is that one chick they were talking about, Marceline. And she's one has the capabilities of floating over top of like um holes and ditches and stuff like that. So you're ready then? But I'll stay in communication before you go into the dungeon. Start this mission so we get an idea of what this mission is about. Because they're found in dungeons. Treasure you find is yours to spend until you re enter the dungeon. Okay. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Uh. I'm not sure what you do. So one. I'm not sure what you do right here. Nothing on the Wii pad. No, I don't want to cancel. I don't want to cancel. It says B two A one. I'm not sure what you do. I guess you got. Okay, maybe you got to get tokens. Look like I have two though. But none of these are unlocked. Maybe I gotta find the ones. I don't know. Let's see. Secret Royal Dungeon Floor 1. Never realized it was Finn. I think when you find like these treasures and stuff like that, that's how you're able to get, you know, these, um, I don't think those are the tokens, but there's some kind of, um, collectibles and items that you need throughout the game. One for me. 
So it's kind of got like a uh, retro kind of look to it. I think they did a good job with it, I think. All right. So far, so good. Got another treasure over easy. Still haven't quite figured out the dodge. Uh, I don't know if we go in this door. Nope. I see some stairs over there, though. Another apple. Look, look like that's health. Food is health. Alright, guys, welcome back to the episode. So, that was the gameplay for Adventure Time Explore the Dungeon because I don't know. So, I believe this is a pretty common game. So, the availability. You know it's common you should be able to pick this up anywhere and the values according to price charting loose they go for fifteen dollars and four cents complete it only goes up about forty cents to fifteen dollars and forty five cents brand new twenty seven dollars and eighty eight cents so in my rating for the game cop or not i would say cop if you are into like an rpg element a little bit of strategy element and slash action adventure i think it's a pretty cool game especially if you're a fan of the show i definitely think it's a pick up and of course if you're going for a complete uh retail set like i am or like i have then you obviously need to get it and this is one of the more common titles you should be able to pick up and i believe in the next within probably the next couple of years that value probably will go up just a little bit i think it might hover around 20 bucks but not too much more than that so this is going to conclude episode number two of the all new vip and episode two of the series playing every single nintendo wii u game from the north american retail set this has been your boy the video game voter if you like the video make sure you drop a like hit the subscribe button turn the bell on so you get the notifications you don't miss a single episode we upload brand new episodes of vip every tuesday at 4 p.m right here on the video game voting channel and again thank you for your support and please hit the like button it helps out the channel a great deal i appreciate you and help me get to my goal for this year to get to 5,000 subscribers guys i would appreciate it so don't forget to share the videos share the content with all your friends have them join in follow me on all gaming and social platforms at video game voters and let me know down in the comment section what you think about this game is that something you want to pick up i appreciate you guys if you care be careful take care of yourself we out Thank you for watching. Follow me on all social media platforms at Video Game Voter.